Thanks for coming back this year on Yankees batting practice today presented by Audi. Buck Showalter has been with us on the pre and post game shows during the first two games of this current series against Texas. And now we welcome him to BP TV and Buck. Let's get right to it here. We saw it last night with Luis Severino and now Domingo Herman is back on the active roster. So how are these two going to impact the bullpen here moving forward? Well, there's still some unknown. You know, you really don't know about Severino until how he feels today and how his next outing goes, the recovery rate. But I think in the back of uh, Aaron's mind, you're thinking about some of the option it might even present you starting. Both these guys have a strong starting background. And I know it's, but what is starting nowadays? Starting nowadays in the playoffs, especially, are three to five innings, it, it seems like, with the depth that you have down there in the numbers. But uh, it bodes well because uh, if they can get this game under their belt tonight, the next three series, I really feel like that they just need to win those three series, and I think they're in. And I think having those quality arms, and it also keeps them from rushing back and putting any extra pressure on getting Loisaga back. I think it keeps them from having to, to really push that envelope, the last thing that they want to do with a young uh, arm like he's got. That's a really great point, Buck, because when Loisaga does come back eventually, you could probably use Severino or Herman back in the rotation. Does that make more sense to have them be more comfortable? Based on what you said, absolutely, it's three to five innings if you're starting nowadays. Well, I think with the uh, emergence of uh, King uh, and the job that Holmes has done out of their bullpen, I think it, it takes a little heat off that they have to do it. It's just another quality option that it gives Aaron and, and the pitching staff. And uh, I think any time you have wiggle room and someone doesn't have to go out there and has to do it, Otherwise, you know, things fall apart. It's funny how two games, all of a sudden, they're starting to get him back. Loisaga's uh, throwing physically well right now. You know, in a week's time, the dynamics of their pitching staff and their bullpen could completely change where they have an abundance of options. Buck, King and Holmes, you just brought those two guys up, so let's stick with them here for a second. They were under the radar acquisitions. King a couple years back, obviously, and then Holmes this year by Brian Cashman. First and foremost, what did you like about Michael King in his last appearance because he was electric? You know, instead of we, we seem to always get bogged down on looking at the Gallo and the... Uh, and the, the acquisition of Rizzo and the real sexy acquisitions, but really watch closely this offseason about some of the behind-the-scenes move. A free agent signing like Velasquez, who's been a real shot in the arm for the Yankees. A kind of under-the-radar homes where people went, who? The Yankees did a great job scouting him and, and actually doing some things with him once they got him. And you watch even Urshela. They got him basically for nothing from the Toronto Blue Jays. You know, a lot of people forget about that, and, and we know uh, what he's been like. And I'm probably missing some names along the way, but but uh, these are, you know, even Jolie Rodriguez, to me, has really given them a solid left-on-left -left, uh, option out of their pen. Something they, did, they didn't really have that could really scare that really tough left-hander. And uh, there's a lot of uh, moves that have allowed them to maintain a level of uh, uh, competing, so to speak, that uh, may not read uh, real flashy. But I love some of the things they've done that have allowed them to kind of hold the fort down. 